who is a brilliant black astrophysicist. So people should have heard of him. So come on, let your boy get the book and get that in the case. Also in the crates, I've got a guy called Ernest Everett Just. And he was a great black biologist. So I've got that in the bag. You know, I'm always championing the Hemi on the Lacks. You know, I've got the dark lady at DNA, which is Rosalind Franklin. And you got Crick and Watson. Start to connect the dots, we've got to get back into the sciences. So, where was the topic of the melanin? The precursor to the melanin, as I mentioned the last time, is something called tyrosine. Now, tyrosine is an amino acid, which Europeans do not produce naturally. Don't believe me, I could be lying. You can check it out for yourself. But, uh, and the precursor to the tyrosine is something called phenylalanine. Phenylalanine. Don't explain to your tongue around it, you know what I'm saying? It's a long word. These are all amino acids, what I'm explaining. Yeah, aromatic amino acids. So, which obviously make up the protein. The protein goes to 20 slash 22. Complete amino acids. Back to the melanin. So, the precursor to the melanin is tyrosine, right? So, we need to be eating tyrosine or melanin producing foods. Because the last time I mentioned the WBC, your white blood cells are always on the attack. They're always attacking your red blood cells, right? If you look at the end game, the end game is that the white blood cells are trying to prevent your melanocytes from laying melanosomes on your keratinocytes, yeah, keratin. This is basically your skin. You know yours works, just look at your skin tone. That's your, that's your proof of keratinocytes, yeah. You have to give them a black. So what happens is that the white blood cells crawl on your body, right? They're really the sanitation guy. They crawl on your body, they don't swim, they just crawl. They're like little leeches. And what they do, when they go in the attack, when they attack your RBCs, your red blood cells, what they're basically doing is their main objective is to prevent the melanocytes from laying the melanosomes. So what they do now is they attack by spraying something called nitric oxide. And what the nitric oxide does is it stabilizes the electromagnetic field around the melanocytes. You know what I'm saying? So this is like cellular warfare, biological warfare. This is warfare on another level. This is the war going on inside no man is safe from. Okay? So, explain the WBC's attack. So what the white blood cells then do also is that they, they tag team, yeah? So you've got the, the nitric acid that they spray, the nitric oxide, so you say spray, the melanocytes, right? And it's the 